Wah wah. We're back in the home of Drop Nation. Rebuilding our frequency brick by brick. Much a hop to the tribe. Yeah, we're gonna get into something kinda heavy, so I had to make sure I had that 432 uh already, you know, in the groove, man. You know, it's a strong frequency, man. It's a strong frequency that you belong to. So when you come home, you're back in that vibration. Vibration is law. If it ain't about frequency, what is it, man? If it ain't about clarity, what is it, man? We come to be pure water, we come to clarify our place. So dig on it, man. We're going to get into some secret drop, man. Y'all want to get into some secrets, man? Y'all want to get into some secrets, man? AD, this is your fault, man. I'm trying to get this uh, other couple drops together, man. We about to get back in that paleo. We got the syntax drop coming back, man. The grammar, syntax grammar, man. We got Preston John, you know what I mean? But AD, man, hit me with this drop, man. I only seen two minutes. I'm going to tell you the truth. A lot of this stuff, I watch it with you, you know what I mean? We dig on this together. We in this investigation together. The truth is the truth, no matter what subject matter, what you think it is, you know what I'm saying? We talking about the truth. And only the truth. Nothing but the truth. That is the drop. So we will be in this Max Spears. You know, he's in Poland dropping some drop. AD told me. So I want to check it out with you. Man, come, you know, come surf the wave, man. You know, come dig on it, man. You can come over here, man. You know, I'm going to give you a whole tour. I'm going to do a whole drop to give you a whole full tour. But you see right here, you know, we just got some good little vibes when you come here. If you like, man, you can sign up right here to Drop Nation VIP. Peace and power to all my family, man. I mean, these are my real wave surfers, man. You know, I got maybe about a few hundred of y'all, man. I got the email, so be patient with me. You will be hearing from me. And, uh, you know, I'm personally tuning up your music, man. So, you know, hey, you know, this is a skeleton project, man. It's a small operation. But we have big, uh, big visions, man, because, you know, we know that it's all about spreading the frequency. And it's, it's, it's nothing small about that. You know, we all have a vision of spreading the frequency. And it's a beautiful thing. We've seen what it's done, you know what I mean, over the last year or so, two, you know, a couple years. So, you know, I'm all in, man. Let's go, man. Let's belly flop, man. So you sign up, man. We got your email. That way you have the password to everything on the website at all times. And, you know, maybe a couple weeks or so it will change. You know what I mean? So make sure you're subscribed. You can also uh, do the same thing just by registering to the site. All the way down here. Where is it? Where is it? Yeah, you can log in and register. You got to do that to leave comments anyway. So if you want to leave a comment, make sure you log into the actual site. You got your own little dashboard, your own little adventure. Then you can leave comments, man, drop it on the family, man. All right. So when you do that, it kind of, you know, you cover everything by doing that. If you don't necessarily want to register to the site, you just want to kind of make sure you're on our, uh, we got your email, you know what I'm saying, you're on our list. Then we got you right here. We will be giving giveaways and doing all kind of, you know what I'm saying, things to keep us active, man, to keep us interactive, man. So, you know, hit the flow up, man. Support Jay Stu, how was Stu? Drop Nation is overflowing with anticipation of Camellia and Jay Stu's first child dropping soon. Let's all tribe up and vibe up around our pure water. Support the stewards, man, right there. Get you a Drop Nation shirt, man. Support the Drop Radio. Get your donate on, man. Much love, much a hop to all those that are continuing to drop it on. You know what I'm saying? Either our emergency fund or, you know, Jay Stu's baby fund. Going in that drop shop, man. Supporting us right here. All those signing up right here for the drop tune up, man. You can learn more about it clicking right there. Or you can sign right up here, you know, for the drop tuner. It's only $5 a month. It's one of your best ways of supporting us. You know, it's a, um, you know, just a, a flow that you send your music. We send it back. You know what I mean? So you send it right into our, our Google Drive, you know, and then we drop it right back to you. So all those that have been surfing the wave with the drop tuner, much love to you. That's 50 songs, man. 50 songs we tune up every month for only five bucks, you know, and that's how we uh, keep our service going. So you can also uh, get your f five free songs. So all those that are already signed up, get five free songs a month. We tune up for the community. 
And that's our way of always uh, giving that energy right to you. We're trying to get your whole library in that 432. You know, rocking with the nine, rocking with the nine, man. You got the library right here. But yeah, you know, got Tyrone Street over here, man. Drop and drop. This is the last drop, man. Drop and Moses, Giannis, Johannes, who was pressed to job, man. We talking solar eclipses in Cabo, Mexico, man. You know, we got a lot of things going on. What else we got up here, man? We got some secret drop, original government, psychic spy reveals viewing secrets. We talking about the remote viewing and all that. Oh, man, we got the drop of the week over here, man. Love the natural by law, man. Yeah, don't take it too serious, man. I just, uh, you know, I just be vibing, man. And this is where I'm going to, uh, you know, throw up, throw up, you know what I'm saying? Whatever I'm vibing on, I'm just going to put it right here in the drop of the week, man. It might be like 10 different drops in the same week. So it's not just going to be one drop of the week, but it might be four, five, or six. It might be 17 drops of the week, you know what I mean? I know my brother Hiram Mark been dropping major ways, so you already know. My brother Hire Mark is going to be staying over here in the drop of the week, man. Love to Uno, love to the fam. How was do, Paco? Go get that King's Oil, man. Hey, Deezy. All right, man. All right, man. Isaac Ford, man. Keeping it keeping it all wavy for us, man. Love to Isaac Ford. Tech drop. Huge mystery wave from Antarctica covers all of South America, man. All right, man. Dabu over there keeping it. Keeping it trill with this wave, man. You got to see what's going on with these energy waves, man. Because um, for some reason, it's activating something over here. We got eclipses over here. We got waves hitting America. Man, you got some money drop, man. You got some, uh, you know, you know, proof of Hawa, intelligent design, you know, science drop. You know, they trying to prove something. We already know. They still trying to prove something. All right, man, you got historic drop. Of course, you got that Virginia situation, you know what I'm saying? Some more false flags, man, to get people riled up for whatever. Don't get on their frequency, man. Don't get on the hype, man. So we're going to get into it, man. We're going to get right into the secret drop. And then I want to get into some um, some of this chemtrail drop, man. You know, I just was surfing the wave today. And apparently the state of Rhode Island, they had a general assembly in January 2017. So this is recent. And they're pretty much spilling all the beans on, you know, geoengineering. It's called the Geoengineering Act of 2017. Representative Justin Price. So this is some hard to, you know, this is some stuff you got to dig on, man. You got you got to know what's going on because sometimes they just leak some stuff, man. So I will leave you the link to get some of this. And, you know, they're going right into geoengineering. They're going right into the uh, shields and different things that they've been doing with the sun. It's all about blocking the sun. Something powerful is being sent, you know what I'm saying? The the Ruach, this energy is being turned up. This is your system. This was all created for you. So right now it's here for you once again. The system that the creator created, the, the energy that the creator created to house you, to give you a place, you know, to have a terrestrial dwelling place. It is there for you once again, you know, this is what we do know. Wow, wow. All right, we're going to get to it, man. Let's get into the secret drop. Oh, yeah, man. I stayed up all night doing these vibe suites, man. So, y'all surf the wave, man. Y'all getting these vibe suites, man. You got the kids bop. You know what I'm saying? This is what my children love, man. It's just a bunch of, you know, kitty music, basically, man. Kids singing pop songs. Uh, Soulful Joy Ride. Got the Indigenous Flutes. OG Rap Basement. Lovers Rock. The High Road Workflow. Let's Cool One. The Drop Zone. Drop Mix. Mimosa Jazz. Neon Valley Pop. Midnight Hour. Bedroom Music. <laughs> if you don't know, you better ask somebody. Jamming Rebel Reggae. B.O.B. is banging. Burn Slow Smoke Out. Boom System Classic Hip Hop, man. And again, I'll give y'all the full tour, man. But y'all dig on them vibe suites. Each one of these has about, you know, typically about 100 songs, you know, as a maximum on the playlist. So we keep switching up the playlist for you. So that's about 1,500 songs. You know what I mean? Go dig on, man, the 432. We have an extensive 432 library, man, and it will be coming soon. Right out of here, man. It will be coming right out. Right out the speakers, man. The speakers will be coming live, man. And... As we, you know, really make our exit from, from the YouTube, exit from Google, you know where to find us. Don't be like, where'd the drop go? 
We right here, man. 432thedrop.com. Just like you can type in YouTube, you can type in 432thedrop. If you can't, then man, you better get with it or get left on. You already know. All right, man. Let's get into the secret drop again, man. It's AD's fault. I'm trying to do something else, man. I'm trying to do a whole nother game plan. But I try to, you know, not be linear about this, you know. I try not to have to do the next one that I think I got to do. I just do the next one that I have to do. You know, this is one that we have to dig on because it has to do with the fractal mind. How the mind is split apart. How they split your children's mind apart. As soon as they're born in the hospitals, you just they, they take them away to run their tests. But they're doing these, you know, what I'm saying it, it's it's. This is this is sorcery one on one. They're fracturing their minds with trauma. They snatch the baby out the mother's arms. The baby's taken away, thrown into some little cold pot, putting light all in their eyes, all kinds of stuff. They're just probing a child to fracture their mind. When my youngest man, my youngest boy was born, man, you know what I'm saying? He was Born in the hospital, but I protected him, man, like a mug, man. I didn't let him get taken nowhere around and nothing touched him, you know. And they kept asking me, they were like, man, you know, how come you, how come you don't, you know, you don't let him, you know, get get his shots and this, this, and this. I said, look, man, I, I do research that counters your research. So we'll be going back and forth. <laughs> Just know that, you know, this shit ain't going down. You know, you got no permission to touch my child. You know, I know it's harder and harder to have children in these conditions. I know a lot of us are in these conditions now, like, you got to defend them from this fracturing of their minds. We're talking the Max Beard, full lecture in Poland. Word again to AD. You know what I'm saying? You see something you like over here, man, press press love. Say, hey, man, give it some love. All right, man, Max Beard, let go. Surf the wave. That has been created through the uh, trauma. From the top, let go. Chepa, uh, are you ready? I'm ready. I think so, I'm ready. Hearty welcome, Max. Proszę wielkie brawa dla naszego super żołnierza. Welcome. Good luck. Uh, hi, everybody. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, I have never done a presentation this way. So this has been the most, uh, this has been the biggest audience really I've spoken to about such personal things. Um, but I feel it needs to be addressed now because um, it's coming to a climax. This, this 2016 year, uh, everything is sort of uh, climaxing now and it needs to be addressed mm. um, uh, imminently. It needs to be addressed immediately. The build up uh, over the last six months um, coming to Poland has been tumultuous to say the least. Um, I have been under psychic attack, under astral attack and under physical attack um, to stop me from coming to Warsaw to be able to convey this information to you. I think uh, what it is and what the Specifically, why I um, why the attacks have been over these last two to three months is because of not the technical things that I'm going to address. Not because of those technical things. It's because um, I'm going to lay out what the war is about and why it's going on. And if the people understand and know why it's going on and what it's about then that gives the ability of the people to be able to stop it from happening. So he says he's going to lay out why the war is happening. What war, you say? From the beginning, we've said it's a frequency war. Now, what do they do to disturb your frequency, to split your frequency in half, to get you going in separate places? That's what 440 Hertz does. It separates you. Everything out your radio, the frequency of it is 440. A equals 440 hertz, guaranteed. They're fracturing your mind every single song you hear, which is why when you come to the drop, this is our little area. This is our secluded alcove, we say, our, our separate, separate area. But we can do this, man. We can put our 
put our joints on, we can put our flutes on. Man, let me tell you like this, man. We ain't in no rush, man. We in the frequency. We talking about the vibe sweets. Go. So you trying to slow our internet down just because we getting groovy. Yeah, hey, man, we talking about the vibe sweets, man. We talking about the drop, man. Let me get, let me get a drop some love. There we go. You come over here, you choose your vibe. All right. What war are you in? You're in a frequency war. Choose your vibe. Choose up. All right, so we got 15 different vibe suites up here right now. We got a soulful joy ride, which is soul music, you know what I mean? Classic, beautiful, Anita Baker, you know what I mean? Soul music. We got the indigenous flute suites. This is what we've been digging on. Back up for you. We got the lovers rock. All romance, man. Get your romance on, man. We got the OG rap basement. You already know. The high road workflow. This is more like alternative, you know what I'm saying? U2, Coldplay, Kings of Leon, you know what I mean? All that stuff, man. So, you know, we try to keep something for everybody. The drop zone, drop mix. This is pretty much a lot of the stuff that you send me when you tune your music in. You know, I put it all pretty much in like the Drop Nation mix. So, if you kind of want to know what vibe Drop Nation is on, this is a mix of pretty much a lot of Drop Nation's music right here. The drop mix. Mimosa jazz grooving, you know, I'm the son of a jazz player, man. Gotta keep it jazzy, gotta keep it wavy, man. Classic Miles Davis, Charlie Parker, you already know. Let go. Neon Valley Pop. Alright, you know, you're gonna get your, your, uh, what's his name? Neo, you know, you're gonna get your, you know, your pop, you know, and your little R&B feels. Neon Valley, man. Jamming Rebel Reggae, say no more. Welcome to Jam Rock, the Midnight Hour. If you don't know, like I said, you better at somebody let's cool one man love to smile so originally put this together and i just been keeping it flowing man it's more of our lounge it's more like a a good lounge flow you know what i mean kids bop say no more you already know about the kids bop you know a lot of dancing a lot of chilling all in 432 for the children bob is banging you know what i mean you had to get one for the for the soldier out there man doing his thing and his way to spread the frequency man all right Burn slow smoke out. Well, hey, uh, for the lover in you, you need something to burn slow too. There you go. There you go. Don't say I never did nothing for you. The boom system, man. That's just classic hip hop, man. You know what I mean? Beautiful mix that Isaac put together recently, man. So, love to Isaac for We tuning you up above the barrier, man. You know, we always, you know, you click on one of these bad boys, like I said, you go into the boom system. You get that classic, you know, I don't want to get no, I'm going to turn it down, because you know, you know how, how, how YouTube is tripping. Yeah, yeah, you like the smiles, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come on, man. You come over here and vibrate. Check out our Instagram, Twitter. Join up. Hit us up. Holla at us, man. I like this, man. Give us some love. Listen to them clear and put the box right near your ear. You already know the beats about the job. You already know the beats about the job. Man, so that's how the vibe suites go, man. It's just a beautiful slideshow and a, a playlist, man. You know, nothing on the side. You know what I'm saying? You want to get all the goods. You know, you come to the home page and all the other pages, you can get all that. But the vibe suites don't have all this. They're just, you know. Just the beautiful pictures, chill out, put the playlist on, that's it. That's all you got over there. So when you really want to just vibe out, go to the vibe suites, man. But we back, man. Let's go. So he's talking about a war, right? We had war. You said what war? It's a frequency war. The uh, particular altar that has been... Why I'm standing here in front of you in the first place, so so you understand, um, I'm just not um, Bob off the street. I'm so um, 
essentially I was born I was born into a uh, into a, a specific bloodline uh -oh. and I was targeted um, as an individual okay so I was targeted as, as an individual from birth um, the trauma begins um, with me the trauma began whilst in the womb of the mother mm. so um, to tra so 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 whilst the fetus is inside the woman if the mother is then traumatized then that then it, that in turn traumatizes the child immediately okay so as I said trauma began in the womb of uh, uh, the, the trauma begins in the womb of the mother and then um, the child is then taken away from the mother immediately and then um, uh, there are a number of different ways to traumatize to uh, split the mind of the child so that it creates alters like a, maybe like a honeycomb a beehive honeycomb what yeah man you just heard that right split the mind of a child so it can keep so then it creates a duplicate honeycomb he calls it a matrix right now what do they put in that matrix what do they put into the split it seems like every single thing, including the 440 hertz, is the split. It seems like they've created a split reality from birth. Scientifically. Technologically speaking. Man, love to AD, man. This is as far as I got before I dropped everything and came and did this drop. I ain't seen the rest of it. I'm going to try to, you know, just rock with it with you. But you got to... You know, we're going to dig on it, man, all the way down. But for real, though, he just said that they split you on GP when you were born, man. The fetus is inside the woman. If the mother is then traumatized, then that then it, that in turn traumatizes the child immediately. OK, so as I said, trauma began in the womb of uh, uh, the, the trauma begins in the womb of the mother. And then um, the child is then taken away from the mother immediately. Mm -hmm. And then um, uh, there are a number of different ways to traumatize, to uh, split the mind of the child so that it creates alters, like a, maybe like a honeycomb, a beehive honeycomb. The information about how to um, fracture the psyche of um, a child which has to be done before the age of three if it's done after the age of three it, 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 it doesn't have the same effect so it has so they attack your children immediately everything in the system is geared towards them or oh, how much vaccines do they got to get before the age of three do we got to pull that up I guarantee it's like damn near a hundred <laughs> how many how many times you got to check back in Get six more shots, five more shots, three more shots. Add that shit up. How much poison are they putting you to feed into that altar? The other, the matrix, the split. Has to be done before the uh, the child is three years old. Okay. Um, there are a number of different ways to do it. Um, one of the most efficient ways, which is 99% um, used in um, fracturing the mind, is uh, ele uh, electric shock treatment. Um, this information was is not new information. I think some people believe that this is uh, this information was around and just be began um, in the, uh, the Second World War. Yes, it didn't, in fact, begin then. Um, they were um, doing this uh, 5,000 years ago. Um, and it's detailed in the Egyptian Book of the Dead. Bang. All right, yeah, I got to about the five-minute mark, because I remember this. What? So it goes back to Egypt? It goes back to Thoth? Did Thoth start this shit? Did Thoth get this cracking, y'all? Most efficient ways, which is 99% um, used in um, fracturing the mind, is uh, ele uh, electric shock treatment. Electric shock treatment. What are they giving your babies when they take them away from you? When they take them out the mother who is in duress and everyone's trying to get some rest. Oh, we'll be right back. What are they doing to split the mind of our children? And this is real. This is a very serious, serious, serious issue. 
They he said they came after his psychological attack, everything to get them from him from uh you know, you know, dropping his drop. Now, when you start thinking about the Negro, the so-called Negro, how much more do you think they give us? How many extra shocks do we get? Since we know it's all about destroying us with their vaccines and it's attacking our melanin. If it don't work on our melanin, it's not even listed as a drug for them. It has to attack our melanin every time. It has to attack our energy, our frequency, our vibration. You're in a vibration war. I don't know if we can get past the first five minutes. How to um, fracture the psyche of uh, um, a child, which has to be done before the age of three. If it's done after the age of three, it, 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 it doesn't have the same effect. So it has to be done before the, uh, the child is three years old. Okay. Um, there are a number of different ways to do it. Um, one of the most efficient ways, which is 99% um, used in um, fracturing the mind, is uh, ele uh, electric shock treatment. Wow. Um, this information was, is not new information. I think some people believe that this, is, uh, this information was around and just be began um, in the, uh, the Second World War. It didn't, in fact, begin then. Um, they were um, doing this uh, 5,000 years ago. Um, and it's detailed in the Egyptian Book of the Dead. So the Egyptians or the Atlanteans or thought in them, the whole party posse started splitting realities. Oh, Christ consciousness, huh? Creating their grid, their synthetic grid with your synthetic consciousness. Does this got anything to do with the slave vibration thoughts that he put on the hairy barbarians when he hopped out the ship with the dweller? Come on, man. Come on, man. They got a split at least one time. How many more times? Look at her. Her head is down. She's just hearing this shit. Now, if this is what they're doing to, to them. <laughs> Only try to imagine. Just turn it up about a hundred fold as to the attack on the indigenous on the indigenous mind. Let's go. What I'm, tr what I'm trying to explain is um, the, the reasoning behind doing that. The reason behind fracturing the mind is so that um, uh, each... When, when the mind is fractured through trauma, whether it is sexual trauma, whether it is um, a, a physical trauma, violence, the mind, then the mind fractures itself and creates an amnesiac barrier around that mm. so, uh, so that you don't have to keep reliving the experience over and over again. Hmm. Okay, so it, after the Second World War, um, the, the Nazi scientists had refined the technique of how it should be done. So what they did was, um, in these amnesiac barriers, they then can place um, triggers, symbols, colors, um, hand symbols, sounds, to then access the uh, particular altar that has been created through the uh, trauma. What? AD, hey, you a fool for this one, man. Ayugan. This is an Ayugan, man. This is an Ayugan. Hawaugan. So they did an inception on you. Who who just told me, man? I just saw something. Some, or someone just said, man, you got to really pay attention to the movies, man. They are locking and loading on your ass. They did an inception with symbols, hand signs, anything to crack through your ether. To crack through the altar. The other you. The corporate you. The straw man you. The other one that they created. They created another you inside of you. Give you your 440. Give you your meat and processed food. Feed your ego. Feed the side of you that is the beast. That only wants to tear down. pacify and assimilate you 
Because you're in your other mind. You're not in your right mind, Negro. You're out of your mind, literally. At this point in the game, when it's wakey-wakey and you hear the, the fucking truth, what does it do to you? What does it do to you when you hear the truth? How much more of this shit are you going to hear? So, uh, so that you don't have to keep reliving the experience over and over again. Okay, so it, after the Second World War, um, the, the Nazi scientists had refined the technique of how it should be done. So what they did was, um, in these amnesiac barriers, they then can place um, triggers, symbols, colors, um, hand symbols, sounds, to then access the uh, particular altar that has been created through the uh, trauma. Right. Um, so you could theoretically create a, um, an assassin <laughs> or a spy or a... Um, Whoa. You could so they've set up spies at birth that when they access them, you know what I'm saying, all that COINTELPRO, they already know who to target because they were targeted at birth. Damn. A couple symbols, a couple hand gestures, a couple signs, a couple sounds or colors, and they got you programmed at birth with your other your other mind. That's that real alter ego. Man, which ego? You got two. You got to watch out for both of your egos. <laughs> Let's go. Or an actor or a musician within these and uh, within the altars and the person who went whilst in the altar would have no idea that they were anything else but that. So a spy or an assassin that doesn't know that he is a spy or an assassin is the ultimate spy or an assassin. Damn. Because he can then be questioned or asked um, a million times. And he this means that they could be taking regular people right now doing crazy shit and they go back in their regular lives and don't even fucking know it. So when they see when you see this shit popping up around you with a crazy nigga doing crazy shit, man, they you know, they're using it like a, you know, pawn in a game. A pawn in a game. We're gonna get on these pawns. <laughs> We're gonna get on these pawns, man. This chessboard is for real. Because he, he is not aware that he is that, um, he becomes the ultimate, um, uh, he becomes ultimately hidden. Nothing, none, the, he is unaware himself what he is, so he can't be tortured or questioned. Okay, so, so, so that, that, that's just a, a very basic overview of, uh, of, of how trauma-based mind control works. It is done through, I mean, it, th there's more complexities involved in it, but um, uh, it, it becomes very graphic. Uh, the, technique, the techniques used to, uh, to do this are extremely graphic and extremely um, uh, 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 horrendous. So uh, I'm going to leave it probably there in that, uh, in that respect. Okay. So I'm going to switch to, um, let's go down here. Okay. So, um, this particular, uh, 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 King, King Charlemagne here, um, he stems, he was not, he was not a nice man. He was a tyrant and, um, he was, a he, 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 he um, he displayed, uh, uh, reptilian characteristics to the extreme. Um, so, uh, reptilian characteristics being um, divide and conquer, um, um, fight or flight. Um, uh, uh, it, it, it's, it's essentially about the, 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 the higher reptilian DNA, so, so this, this, this king, uh, the higher the reptilian DNA, the more um, uh, reptilian characteristics they display. So it's, it's more about dominance, control, um, and uh, conquering. Dominance and conquering. So this bloodline, this, this particular man was that. Okay, now within, within this particular bloodline, you're always going to, because we're living in a dualistic, we're, we're, three, th the 3D world that we live in is dualism. Is du everything is dualistic. So you have up, down, left, right, 
um, uh, black, white. Everything is dualistic based. So within, even within uh, a bloodline like that, you're going to have good and bad within it. Okay, so within um, uh, uh, this, the, the war that's going on is a war of DNA. So um, the reason why they interbreed, the reason why they're looking for an inter interbreeding with each other is because they want to make sure that they maintain this particular DNA uh, within their family line. Because this particular DNA gives them um, exalted um, abilities, gifts, psychic gifts. Um, uh, um, yeah, I'm going to go with the word psychic. Um, uh, telepathic, telekinetic gifts. So they inbreed, not because, well, partly because they are um, twisted, but um, on, the other, on, on the other side of that, it is because they are trying to maintain this particular strand of DNA within their bloodline. So, so, so to give an analogy, um, if understanding that um, the 3D world that we live in is, um, is, a, is illusory, it's a three-dimensional, illusional world. Um, the makeup of everything around us is made from geometry, light, sound, light, and then physical. This is important to say. So everything around you is vibrating energy. Everything around you is vibrating energy. This is not solid. Nothing is solid. It is manifested through, um, uh, as I said, uh, geometry, light, sound, and then there. Um, All right, pay attention. We're going to see if we can get any babies out of this. You know, I'm watching it with y'all. I'm chilling. You know, he's talking about everything is vibration. I mean, we, this is something that we've dug on before. Let's see where he takes it. Let's go. Because they, it's, it's like an analogy would be, um, we are in a, in a matrix system, which is like um, a virtual reality computer game, where it's a master-slave reality. So the masters would be the 0.01%. They, they have kept the secrets and the cheats for themselves, and they have left the slaves to, with amnesia, and with no uh, understanding of what's going on. Okay, so um, Charlemagne is um, connected to the Holy Grail, and the Holy Grail is um, not a, 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 an actual sacred object. It is symbolically an object, but in, in truth, uh, the Holy Grail is, is a bloodline is a particular bloodline called, uh, and, and in French it's called Sang, Sang Royal, which, is, which means ho uh, royal blood. Okay. Um, in the 1950s, um, uh, in the 1950s, there was a search for, okay, so there was um, an, an, influx, an influx of incarnations of um, uh, um, higher, higher vibrational beings coming down to this planet to try and change uh, what's what's been going on here? Because it has been essentially uh, a prison planet for thousands and well, fifty thousand years, really. Um, and so there was an influx in the 1950s and the 1970s of higher vibrational beings. They, the controlling consciousness that that is in in charge at this moment of this planet is a, what is and are aware of every incarnate being that comes in uh, comes into this planet through sexual union between a male and a female. Energy is then sent up and vibrates up through frequencies. Uh, they have technology to be able to see where, and then a soul is then attracted to a lifetime. And then the soul will then, um, this is just one way, a soul will then um, be, come to uh, the, the womb of the mother and they, they can track this. They can track this from happening. Okay, so in the 1950s, there were... We surf for the wave, you know what I'm saying? I, I can't confirm or deny, but do they have soul tracking machines? I mean, they... You always see these people looking at meteors coming in and out, or are those is, are those souls coming in and out? Let's go. Something called Project Oak Tree. Project Oak Tree. Um, uh, this is the truth about Project Oak Tree. Project Oak Tree. The, okay, uh, the oak tree itself is symbolic of Lucifer. They 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 use the term uh, oak tree. Uh, it, uh, oak tree is synonymous with um, 
with Lucifer. So in the 19th, uh, the, the controlling the, the controlling power that 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 um, has at this time power over this planet um, is aware that there are uh, uh, very 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 powerful beings. Uh, I don't know what you would want to call them, demigods, gods, whatever you want to call them. That, that there was an influx of them coming. So they needed to. They didn't know where and when they were going to be here, but they needed to find um, a way of tracking them. Um, so I'm going to address uh, two different projects, um, two projects that I feel are significant that um, I think that everybody should know about. Um, okay, so Project Oak Tree was um, because this reptilian, this reptilian conscious, vampiric consciousness that has control of this planet is basically a fear-based they are, they are, they are in, they are, they are a fear-based consciousness. If they weren't a fear-based consciousness, they wouldn't need to control everything. If you're in fear, you have to control everything around you. If you are centered and balanced in yourself, you don't need to control things around you. So I'm going to address... Uh, fear-based. And we always had to remember, you know, as we surfed the wave. Virginia House of Delegates, what did they say? When he says fear-based, we'll read it quickly on top. This is from Henry Brown in 1832, speaking in the Virginia House of Delegates. All right. He calls you slaves here, copper-color Negro. We have as far as possible, he quotes, he writes, he's, he speaks. <laughs> we have as far as possible closed every avenue by which light may enter the copper color Negro's mind. He says slave. I'm just correcting him. The octoctan indigenous mind. If we could extinguish the capacity to see the light. Our work would be complete. They, they have in parentheses enslaved Africans. Let's cross that out. They, the indigenous Negro Copper color con, American, would then be on the level with the beast of the field. And what else? After they make you a beast of the field, because they want you to be like them. And we would be safe. If we could extinguish the Negro's capacity to see the light, our work would be complete. They indigenous would be would then be on the level of the beast of the field and we would be safe he says they're a fear based uh, frequency everything is fear based so they have to dominate so they have to make you on the level of the beast so that they can be safe they want to be safe from you, so they extinguish your capacity to see the light. Now, put this in context with what this cat is saying. He says it's been going on for 5,000 years, all the way back to Thoth and then. He's talking about fractal splitting of your mind, creating an illusion, and all, or at least an altar, almost like a compartment they open up. He said a honeycomb, so that they can insert the program with symbols and signs and whatever the fuck. And inside of that... Goes all this fear shit they put in you. All the program gets inserted. The matrix is right there. You free your mind out the matrix. You come out of her Babylon in your mind. Because they've established it first in your mind. They've extinguished your capacity to see the light. What does it mean? What does it mean to have billions of dollars? You know, you got the fake a fake space program, all these trillions of dollars supposed to be going into all that is really going into what? We're talking about the prison plantation, the censorship on the prison plantation, extinguishing dissent. Prison plantation. They created a prison for your mind. That's the matrix. When you come out the matrix, you come back into your right mind. Oh, wow. You're framing your shape, but you got your flow back. Because before that, they have, as far as possible, closed every avenue by which light may enter your mind to put you in perpetual slavery. They've closed every avenue 
by creating another you. So their work would be complete. They want to put us on a level of the beast of the field. What is that? That's your beast nature. That's the other you that they create this beast. They want to put you on a level of the beast. They want you to believe you're a beast of the field, not noble. They, they think they got righteous blood. He's talking about their bloodline. They're just copying the true seed of Adam, the, the true seed of creation. That's bloodline, whatever. We're talking about seed. We're talking about energy, frequency, and vibration. So we talk about Aryans and noble blood. That's you. You're the Aryan. You're the noble blood. You're the noble seed. Everything else is synthetic. They're the beasts of the field. But they want you to believe that you're the beast of the field. So that what? They would be safe. And what did he just say about their safety? What did he just say about their fear-based system? But they needed to find um, a way of tracking them. Um, so I'm going to address uh, two different projects. Um, two projects that I feel are significant that um, I think that everybody should know about. Um, okay, so Project Oak Tree was um, because this reptilian, this reptilian conscious, vampiric consciousness that has control of this planet is basically a fear-based. They are, they are, they are in, they are, they are a fear-based consciousness. If they weren't a fear-based consciousness, they wouldn't need to control everything. They wouldn't need to feel safe. If they were Hawa, that's automatically dominant. You come from a dominant, so you don't have to fear anything because you're dominant. Your frequency is dominant. Your seed is dominant. You dominate everything. Look around, nigga. You dominate everything. You dominate everything. Inventions, technology, everything physically, spiritually possible, man. When you focus, when you're connected, you do that shit, man, with your eyes closed. Imagine with all of you open, all of you connected. What is really going on with this frequency war? If you're in fear, you have to control everything around you. If you are centered and balanced in yourself, you don't need to control things around you. So I'm going to address uh, this. So Project Oak Tree is connected to uh, Project Ibis. Uh, Project Oak Tree, czyli Dom, jest związany z projektem Ibis. Okay. Ooh, um, and there... Bang! That train's never late. I ain't seen this, man. I'm watching this. I ain't seen past five minutes. So, man, I, I'm... I'm belly flopping with y'all, man. Project Evis Thoth. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> we, can't make, we can't make that shit up, man. I told y'all Thoth was fucking y'all up, man. Now it's connected to Project freaking Thoth. Fracturing your mind, creating the matrix in your head, giving you language to put you under a spell with spelling. Thoth brought you writing. Thoth brought you writing. Thoth brought you writing. Now the brother's like, where's your writing? Where's your writing? I need your writing. Thoth brought you writing to put you in another mind. When you used to be connected, vibrating, nothing separate, no illusion of seclusion. Project freaking Thoth, man. We're talking about the Thoth spell barrier right here to go. That is uh, my uh, connection to James Casbolt. Um, 42 children were selected um, from mothers that were born in the 1950s. So the children would then be born between 1972 and 1978. So the mothers, the mothers were born in, in the in the 50s, and that and their children would then be born between 1972 and 1978. They were all male. There's no females, because <coughs> because they're looking for. Um, Okay, so male energy is uh, explosive, uh, creative, external creative energy. Female energy is receptive, um, uh, um, uh, nurturing energy. So they're looking for male energy because it's the male energy that externally builds the world around the world around us. Uh, so out of the forty-two children, they were looking for these. Uh, uh, their genetic. 
these, these, this is this is the Anunnaki who who put this uh, project together. They did it out of fear because they knew that these beings were coming to this planet, and they needed to make sure that they had their hands on and had control of these particular beings. They didn't know uh, which ones were going to be which. Yeah. Just right quick, think about what he just said. The male energy from what he's saying is, you know, external and all that. So they're building off this male energy, right? Now the female energy is, you know what I'm saying, receptive. Receptive. You know what I'm saying? So now you have a receiving, you have a feeling of a cup versus, you know, just building a bunch of synthetic stuff outside of you. When you were connected to and through your mama. Everything's in the vibration of your father and the connection is your mother and it's inside of you. So it's built in you. The kingdom is within. When you start trying to make your kingdom external, you're all in their frequency. You build your kingdom within. Your law, your vibration is within. Let's go. Uh, they didn't know. Some were hidden. Some are put into uh, um, uh, and the entertainment industry, and some have been hidden throughout their lives. They are looking. They were looking for, um, and, and whether or not you believe in these de deities, it doesn't matter. The, 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 for, for, for me, this is my perspective, and I'm giving my perspective. Okay? They were looking for um, specific beings. The beings that they were looking for are were Hermes. Who is Hermes is uh, Thoth, um, and they were looking for Lucifer. They were looking for the uh, the Christos, or um, uh, how would you say uh, Ye Yeshua? Um, <laughs> Put it in your perspective, not not Jesus. They're looking for Joshua. Oh, you bet your ass they're looking for Joshua. They're looking for Thoth. They're looking for who he said, Lucifer, whatever you want to call it, whatever name and title. He said they came in between, what, 70 and 78? You know, roughly, whatever, you know. Hey, 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 what do they, what, <laughs> what does it mean, man? This is getting good. Uh, Jehovah, um, mm. Satan. These, Satan and Lucifer are two different individual beings. Uh -oh. They're not the same being. Uh-oh. Um, so they're looking for these particular beings because they are incarnating. Um, now, um, as time has gone on... Um, it's very interesting because Lucifer is Jesus. And that's why he said Yeshua because Lucifer is is Jesus and Yeshua is something else, right? Joshua, the real Joshua, is not Jesus. Jesus is Lucifer. So he named Lucifer. He named Satan because Satan is the father of Lucifer or Jesus. Remember how the uh, how they were singing in, in that papal ceremony? Like, oh, Christ, the son of Satan, the son of Lucifer, whatever they were saying. You know how they were saying it. Saturn, Jupiter. Saturn is the father of Jupiter. Jupiter is Zeus, is Jesus. So he's the son. He's Satan's spawn. He's the son of Satan, Lucifer. However it connects, something fucking is happening. <laughs> but we know that this Joshua is named separately. Let's go. More powerful light beings are incarnating and more powerful dark beings are, are, are incarnating mm. it's becoming more and more and more and building and building so this particular project what they did is they um because the anunnaki are genetic masters they are they, they are genetic masters and on every level so um they went to the uh pyramids at giza they also went to the pyramids all over the planet and they took you want to go yeah. So what they had done is they had, uh, remembering this consciousness, this Anunnaki consciousness, has a uh, a complete understanding of the inner Earth and the and the surface Earth. So they know exactly where all the all the energy grid lines are, all 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 the ley lines, all the dragon lines. Dragon lines. Moses' staff turned into a fiery flying dragon. 
not just a serpent, a dragon. These dragon lines are energy. We don't speak English. We don't say serpent. We don't say dragon. We're st trying to express it through the illusion. We're trying to express it through the matrix, through what we're speaking in vibration. But this so-called dragon situation, these are energy lines. The serpent represented the dragon or the dragon lines of this energy. And when they hijacked your serpent with their venomous snakes, they were hijacking your ley lines. And if they controlled your energy lines, they control the energy grid. And that powers up the alter ego. That powers up the illusion, the, the, the fractured you, the duality you, the beast you, so that you can be beast of the field. And if you're beast of the field, so that they would be on the level of the beast of the field and we would be safe in their fear-based system. And they know where the, um, uh, the for example, they know uh, where Ramesses was buried. They know, where, they know where they were all buried. So they went and took pieces of DNA, okay, from different ones. They took pieces of DNA, then they put them together. And then they put them into um, a, a, a womb, uh, a carrier, a female carrier. Okay. Wow. So um, <laughs> in doing that, the, 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 so, so the, 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 the oak tree was to find the female carriers in the 1950s for the, for the females. They, were, they had to be specific females that would be able to carry such, a pow such powerful beings. Y'all think this is play play? You, you think they was not looking for the woman? So that they can put this super duper. They said it took a piece of Rams. It's a piece of this. A piece of that. They put a super nigga together. And that now they need a super womb. To carry the super nigga. To carry the super nigga. Now what happened to the super nigga? You know this shit ain't good. So is this the Antichrist scenario? Whatever they call Antichrist. Let's go. So the, it's called Oak Tree because. I mean they were looking for a number of different beings. But they were primarily looking for. Lucifer, because Ooh. they're following um, revelations from the Bible as a script, so they're following it to a T as a script. So, so they are looking for that child um, that was born in the seventies for to then um, continue. Uh, the I, I suppose you could possibly call. Um, I don't know this for a fact, but I suppose you could possibly call Lucifer maybe the Antichrist. I don't know. <laughs> No, Lucifer is Christ. The Antichrist is anybody that wasn't with their Christ. And what happened when you weren't with their Christ? Enemies of Christ. They came over with their papal bull and said, we're going to convert you or you die because you're enemies of our Christ. Well, then we're the Antichrist. If you came to the lands that are the enemies of your Christ, based on your, your papal bull doom diverses 1452, Enemies of Christ will subject you into perpetual servitude and take your kingdoms, principalities, your duke, dukedom, duck, whatever, movable and immovable goods. We are that anti energy of their anointed. We're anti their anointed. Yeah. They're anti our anointed. Yeah. They're anti our vibration. So they created an anti vibration within us and they feed it every day. And they're looking for some super, super cat. There's a super nigga going around here, y'all. I'm trying to just tell y'all, man. All right? And they found, you know, a super womb to put this in. So who are they really looking for? When y'all give up all y'all DNA for these heritage uh, heritage sites to try to connect you back to Africa, <laughs> what do you think they're really looking for? No, um, that, that's a possibility. And so they needed to make sure that they got that correct. They had been looking for... They had that there was about four or five different um, boys that, uh, and they weren't sure which one was that one. Each one of these children has also incarnated into multiple lifetimes beforehand. For example, Thoth in Atlantean times. Thoth in Atlantean times was um, king and ruler, and he ruled for fifty thousand years throughout uh, Atlantis. So if we're looking, if we, if we go back 13,000 years, okay, which will take us to approximately 
11,000 BC, let's say 11,000 BC, there was a very similar situation that is, that is happening now, that, it, that was happening then. A potential cataclysm that was going to happen then. Um, I think what they thought, I think what they think is, if they uh, bring back um, the people, everybody in this room, everybody in this room was there back then too. You wouldn't be here listening to me speak if you weren't back there then at that time as well. Okay. You're magnetically mm. drawn to this particular area now and into this room now, and to the speakers in this room now, because you subconsciously know that um, this is, we are now repeating a cycle again. Everybody in here knows each other on some level. Okay, so uh, what they wanted to do is they thought they think that they can stop the cataclysm that is that happened um, uh, when Atlantis fell. Atlantis was was I mean what Atlantis wasn't uh, wasn't some um, idyllic paradise. It also uh, had wars and it was also you know there was a lot of there was negativity went on on there. But it was it was a far more advanced civilization than the one we have now. So um, in um, Genetically manipulating and, put, and taking DNA from here, taking DNA from there, taking DNA from there. They were, okay, in addition, in addition, okay, so, so we have um, Project IBIS. There's, there's also a female uh, uh, parallel project to it where they were trying to bring in female deities too. They were looking to bring in the partners of the male of the males from IBIS. They were looking to bring in the female partners to pair them up with the males. So, um, if they took, for example, let's use the example of uh, uh, ISIS. Um, uh, they went and took DNA from uh, the tomb or, or the body of ISIS, and then they uh, manipulated it and then placed it into... A, a so, if we surf this way, I'm not telling you to take all this at face value, I'm saying you go dig on it, you go do some recon on this because ain't nobody talking about this shit in the conscious community. <laughs> ain't nobody talking about, you know, that there's a real Anubis or, you know, real Ramses walking around here, man, because they they ushered this back in around this time period. Now you got, you know, different flows and different movements and different things. You got to really kind of look at what are they really doing? What are they really up to? They're trying to get safety. They think they can bring all this back up. With CERN, what, what's this portal in Switzerland doing? Was it 19 miles or 17 miles? Uh, uh, Hydrogen colliders, colliding particles. They're saying they're looking for this particle, the fabric, so that they can keep ushering in all these, opening these portals, right? Opening these doors. That is your Tower of Babel. Energetically speaking, they're connecting a door to a higher you know what I'm saying higher uh, dimension higher source that's the, that's the babble that's you know what I mean so what's happening with us right now are we being you know like you said everybody in the room has a magnetic thing right now we have a magnetic thing we're we're tribing up don't think about them in their room in their white heaven everything they're saying is related to you negro and i need you to see that cuz you right now are tribing up around you we're just an example of what you are doing around you right now you might not even know it. You might not call it tri tribing up. We don't got to speak English. Just know that you're trusting your people around you. You know what I'm saying? You're seeing the same things. You're surfing a wave. Just, just, just see how it goes. See how it flows. You know what I'm saying? We're not saying nothing, you know, vicious and, and this and this and this. We just say, yo, we need to know what happened to us on every single level. And when we do the investigation... You know what I'm saying? Don't 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 give us uh no 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 extra cream on it, man. We don't want no fat, man. Just give us the truth, man. Give us a drop. Give us just the skinny. No fat. Only the skinny. We deserve it. We deserve that much. We deserve the skinny, man. So when we get the babies out the bathwater, we're just getting the skinny out, man. We're getting the skinny out, man. Getting a nice, healthy, lean, mean, uh, frequency war machine going on, man. Let's get a couple more minutes. I'll leave a link, man. It's, you know, it's already on the site, man. You go check on the site. Go to Secret Drop. It's already there for you. Let's go. Some some women's wombs are stargates, are stargate openings. 
Okay, so, so they also have the knowledge of which women's wombs are stargates. So then by manipulating DNA, placing this, placing this here, placing this there, then placing it into the womb of the female, then they can draw through the stargate if the child is born at the exact time and the exact date, um, and then they can draw that entity into and then birth. Okay, so, so we're understanding that um, the female is the receiving energy and the giving energy. So, so through sexual union, um, the male, the male if, if it's done, it's obviously this, there are two ways. Um, one is uh, naturally a male and a female coming together. And then the other way is the manipulated way where um, they will, like they track through um, a Project Oak Tree to find these, there, I think there's only very few, very, very, very few women who have these specific stargates, uh, uh, let's say 11, 11, 11 stargates in their wombs, and they found those and they tracked those. Parallel po 11, 11 stargates, a lot of people be saying, they be seeing all these numbers, you know, numbers are alive, numbers were discovered not invented they just discovered numbers they didn't invent them all right so numbers are alive it's part of the code right we're breaking free we're breaking free the parallel project for the for the females um the the the, the females were born in the in the 80s and and the males were born in the 70s when they place the child into the fam, uh, so, so the mother has the child, they've got to make sure that the child doesn't look completely different to its, its, its parents, otherwise it's going to look um, very, very bizarre. So what they do is they take small amounts of DNA from the, 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 the carrier mother and small amounts of DNA from the, the, the supposed father and then put that also, in, in, integrate that into the uh, child. This, is, um, this was primarily an MI6 project, but it was called MI7 Zygote. It was called the MI7 Zygote Project. Okay, so when, we, when, we, when, when people talk about MI5 and MI6, MI5 would be um, uh, the UK uh, that takes care of what happens in the UK. MI6 would be uh, the international uh, that takes care of international. But what most people don't know is there is MI1 to MI9 all the way through. Nine. Project Paperclip, I don't know if, any, if, if, if people understand, or I'm, I'm giving basics here. Project Paperclip. Project Paperclip was at the end of the, at the, end of the Second World War, at the uh, um, uh, October 1945. Um, it was said that um, the Nazis and Germany lost the war, and, you know, the Allies won, and, you know, the Allies won. But what this consciousness does on this planet is it inverts everything. It twists, it flips it, it flips it on its head. Oh, what the consciousness, what the spell, what Thoth is doing is inverting everything. He has you building externally instead of building internally. He has you doing your writing instead of doing your vibration from within to connect to each other. He's flipping everything. They flipped your map. North is south. East is west. You're in the old world, not the new world, people. You are the original people, and they're taking your original female mitochondria to insert all of this stuff into. They don't use the seed of the original people because this seed, this 432, will wash their ass out. They have to insert themselves in this womb so they find the indigenous woman. He's not telling you, but come on. You think he's looking for her? You think he's looking for her? They're looking for the indigenous woman with the indigenous vibration. And then they put in their synthetic shit. Just like they said in the script. How they how the fallen angels came into the women here. They found them beautiful. This is the genetic shit of this. This is the Sumerian shit. This is the Egyptian shit. This is the Atlantean shit. All in real time. What's happening? What's this great American eclipse really about? So that you don't really know what's going on. Inversion is one of the key things that it does. So, um, to put it to you, what, what, what happens or what would you think if um, the Allies didn't win the war and that was a trick? And that in fact, 
the Nazis did win the war. Mm. So, uh, Project Paperclip was a, uh, a setup. <laughs> so who really won the war? It was a setup. Where they took the, 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 the best doctors, scientists, um, greatest minds of uh, the SS, and then they, were, they took them and they hid them in South America and North America. Mm. Remembering that um, by the end of the Second World War, they had technology, these people had technology that is so far in advance of what we could possibly conceive now um, that um, it would even be hard for me to explain. They have age regression technology. Oh, found so, you. for example, if um, Joseph Mengele was um, 70 years old or 60 years old at the end of the Second World War, there is technology that, that they have that they, they can reverse um, back and make him look 30 years old. Okay, so the, 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 the powerful Nazis and the... And, the and what did Presser John say? Every time he took a bath in the fountain of youth, he was back to the age of 32. Six times he took a bath in the living water. Now they created a synthetic water that they're swimming in, man. So... That's right here, man. You got the drop, man. Go dig on it. Go get that drop. Go get that secret drop. Let me keep it going for a second, man. Hopefully we have time for a little more of that. All right, man. Just uh, wanted to drop this on you, man. This is out of the, uh, this is called 2017 H6011 State of Rhode Island in General Assembly January Session AD 2017. Again, another AD for that drop. An act relating to the health and safety, the Geoengineering Act of 2017. Oh, you think you think that's just a stardust they're sprinkling on you, man? Oh, they're just trying to block out. They're killing two birds, three birds, four birds, a million birds with one stone with this chemtrails. They spray in desiccated blood cells, aluminum, barium, giving you heart issues, giving you brain. Autism is on the rise. They're fucking up your brain, your heart. Fucking up your frequency, blocking the creative frequency from coming in. They try to do everything they can to block it for as long as they can. But time's up. Ding, ding. Now, this was referred to the House of Natural Resources. It is enacted by the General Assembly as follows. Section 1, Title 23 of the General Laws entitled Health and Safety is hereby amended by adding thereunto the following chapter. Make sure we can get it all here. Yeah, all right. All right, man, let's just get to it. So geo geoengineering <coughs> is defined herein as the intentional, intentional, intentional manipulation of the environment. So this legislation that was just discussed in H6011, and I also have a link to H. 6011 substitute A. This is all about the state of Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Remember that Rhode Island. All right. So they say geoengineering is defined herein as the intentional manipulation of the environment involving nuclear, biological, chemical, electromagnetic, and or other physical agent activities that affect changes to Earth's atmosphere and or surface. What changes does it have on you? The Rhode Island General Assembly finds that geoengineering encompasses many technologies and methods involving hazardous activities that can cause harm that can harm human health and safety the environment and the economy of the state of rhode island so they're worried about they shit right what about you it is therefore the intention of the rhode island general assembly to regulate all geoengineering activities as further set forth by the terms of provision of the chapter so here is actual legislation that the state of rhode island is taking against the government for spraying poison on them, blood cells, aluminum, heavy metals, getting them sick. They don't need to poison your water when they're poisoning your air, but they're doing both. Now, the scope of engineering, inclusive of solar radiation management, SRM, and other technologies, geoengineering activities are diverse and vary greatly in the characteristics of consequences. Geoengineering may involve ground-based or atmosphere-based deployments. Come on. 
including without limitation the use of aircraft, rockets, unmanned aerial ve vehicles, UAVs, drones, and other large balloons. Solar radiation management, SRM geoengineering activities requiring state licensing include, without limitation, cloud cover protection. Aerial release of water vapor produce man-made cloud cover. They are doing this, and these people are rising up against it. From what I'm seeing, they're at least putting out legislation like, man, we're, we're tired of this shit, so they're spilling the beans. They're saying, man, they're doing cloud cover protection, aerial release releases of water vapor produce man-made cloud cover. They're covering up the sun. They're covering up the vibration. It's a frequency war. They split you in half before you were three years old. And in order for you, in order to keep you separate from that 432, remember that brings you back together. The 440 keeps you separate. So everything in the vibration keeps you separate. It keeps you in your other mind. That 432 brings you back together. Unity, framer and shaper, cloud whitening, sea salt and other peculiar particulates injected into clouds. So they do cloud whitening, cloud cover protection. Where they release the water vapor aerial releases of water vapor you know that's poison ass water that's raining down on you from man-made clouds cloud whitening where they put sea salt or other particulates injected into clouds make the clouds more reflective what are they reflecting energy frequency and vibration they're pushing it away they want the clouds to reflect the energy away after which the salt and other particulates rain, rain out over land areas of fresh water supply. So now that fresh water is gone. Salt flare rockets fired into clouds. These rockets trigger rain downpours containing salt. So the rain is downpouring. You're like, oh, let me get that rain water. You're just getting that poison ass salt flare rocket. <laughs> rain, salt water, salt poison, aluminum, metal water. With desiccated blood cells in it. You look it up. Space sunshades or sun shields, man. <laughs> sun shields, man. Man, I love the Isaac Ford, man. My, my man Isaac been talking about them blocking the sun, man, for a minute. Huge paracel like devices reduce the amount of direct sunlight reaching Earth's surface. Solar shields or atmospheric sunscreens. Man, so they got the solar shields, they got space sun shades, so they got a shield just blocking the sun. And a lot of these people are picking up this shit, you know what I'm saying? Oh, this is, you know, what can you do about it? Well, you can at least just know. And once you know, it don't mean you got to go freak out and be in some vibration of freaking out. But it's like, all right, you can have a, 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 a high vibration conversation, a high vibration conversation. Solar shields or atmospheric sunscreens reflect a particulate such as sulfur dioxide, aluminum oxide released into the atmosphere, block sunlight from reaching Earth's surface, after which such particulates rain down as pollution. Man, you read it. Y'all want some flutes so we can get, get groovy? Where y'all want to go? Y'all want to go to the indigenous flute suite? Let go! If we're going to make our dismount, we might as well do it in swag frequency, man. Hawa, hawa. Tribe up. Indigenous flutes. Let go. Yeah, man, come in here and vibrate, man. I know I'm doing a lot of screaming, man. Let's take about a minute, man, and just uh, rewind. Yo, love the tie battle, man. Right. Repping the drop wherever she at, man. Beautiful scene right there, man. Tribe up. And let's vibrate for about a minute. We'll get right back, you know. Drop gonna go crazy, man. Let's fall back for a second.
Hawa! We already home, family. Unbreakables, we come back stronger every time, man. Let go. Feel it in my bones. I feel it in my bones. Redemption season is nigh. Choose up. Feeling good, man. All right. All right. Remember, man. Henry Brown said in the Virginia House of Delegates, 1832, we have as far as possible closed every avenue by which light may enter the American's mind. If we could extinguish the capacity to see the light, if we could extinguish the capacity to see the light, what are they doing when they block the sun with sunscreen? What are they doing when they put up a solar shield or atmospheric sunscreens, reflective particulates such as sulfur dioxide and aluminum oxide release into the atmosphere? Do what? Block sunlight. If we could extinguish the capacity to see the light. Block sunlight. See the light. Our work would be complete. This is 1832. Then we would be saved from the light. They put on screens. Sunscreen. Sunscreen is giving them vitamin D deficiency. Because they're hiding their skin from the sun. Putting on blackface and don't even know it. To block sunlight from reaching Earth's surface or the surface of their skin. Because you already have the solar cells in your iris. <laughs> Not your thought. Is it a coincidence that an iris, then you have an ebus? Man, look, man. They're blocking sunlight from reaching Earth's surface, after which such particulates rain down as pollution, and the rain is polluted. You want to drink it? Reflective space mesh mirrors, wire mesh mirrors deployed in space reduce the amount of direct sun reaching Earth's surface over small and large areas. They're blocking the sun, man. They're blocking the sun. Why? To extinguish your capacity to see the light. You don't worship the sun. There's many suns when you keep going down the plane. This sun don't cover all the plane. There's many suns. But what does the Most High do through this portal, through this energy? What frequency, man? It's like being in a sports game. Think of it like a college football game. It's the biggest game. It's the championship game. You're surrounded by a whole crowd, right? Well, that crowd is the so-called stars. The stars are surrounding you. You're on the field. They're cheering you on. Some of them are booing you, right? Some of them are trying to hijack you, right? They're calling you out your name, right? They're trying to hijack you, man. Trying to get you out your game. So you don't score a touchdown on the ass, right? Don't go to the house on the ass, right? And when it's all said and done, and they need one more play, who, 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 who they call on? Hail Mary. Well, Mary can't save them this time, man. And Mary can't stop our capacity to see the light. When they're creating what? Planetary sunshades. These largest of SRM operations use particulates to cover over time, the whole Earth stripping the ozone layer by as much as 76% and reducing the amount of sunlight reaching Earth's surface. 76%, man. <laughs> Notice they said, if we could, if we could, because they're not sure they can, because they can only get to what? 76 
per se. But hypothetically, a hijack can have dreams. And a hijack dreams of being safe so that we will be safe. So if we could let, let the hijack have a dream. Martin Luther King had one shit. Let go. If we could extinguish their capacity to see the light, our work would be complete. So this doesn't mean that their work would never be complete because they never can extinguish your capacity to see the light. Because they can never get this to 100%. It stays at 76% for now. Is that as close as the Most High will let them get to blocking the light? Artificial ionosphere, a sustained high-density plasma cloud is produced in Earth's upper atmosphere. Large helium balloons which release atmospheric contaminants and rocket emissions including water vapor and greenhouse gas. Additional geoengineering activities requiring state license include without limitation. Listen up, Negro. Because I do this for the tribe, for the little homie in the back of the class, man, representing. Because you are the future, man. You are it. We're protecting you. Wall of protection. High tech frequency. No play play. Let go. Ocean fertilization. What? Ocean fertilization. I mean, does B.O.B. got a song called Ocean Fertilization? Because he might as well, man. By iron or lime seeding. Iron. Including but not limited to ocean sequestration <laughs> with process processes produce detrimental artificial algae. What? They're giving off artificial algae with the process with this uh sequestration and ocean fertilization and ses ses se sequestration sequestration sequestration, man. Just uh, whatever, man. Look. <laughs> Artificial algae blooms from pollutants in the ocean. Artificial algae with an artificial synthetic vibration. What does that do to the the whole uh, you know system? What does that do to the whole ecosystem? Re-icing or cooling the Arctic and other areas through artificial means, ocean cooling pipes. Weather modification involving the release of sea salt, silver iodide, barium, and or other particulates to enhance rain or snow in one area. That's called controlling the weather and using it as a weapon. While reducing the availability of rain and snow in other areas, that's called causing an artificial drought and using the weather manipulation geoengineering as a weapon. What is HARP? What is CERN? Right in your face bone. Gen genetically modified CO2 eating plastic trees. What? Fake ass algae and fake trees. They creating fake trees. Fake trees that do the opposite of giving off air. They just, you know what I'm saying? With, with, you know, oxygen. They're, they're just eating up. <laughs> They're just eating it up. They're just soaking it up like a sponge. You're taking away your oxygen with these plastic trees. Glacier reflecting blanket deployment. Glacier reflecting blanket deployment. They're reflecting the sunlight with glaciers. Land-based and ocean-based carbon sequestration. Carbon dioxide geo sequestration and carbon capture or removal. Since his word keeps on popping up, we at least can get the drop. So we clearly know what's popping. Sequestration. The act of taking legal possessions of assets until a debt has been paid or other claims have been met. Taking a possession of an asset. What else? The act of taking forcible Forcible possession of something, confiscation, the act of declaring something bankrupt. They're bankrupting Earth. Whoo! They're taking possession of Earth. They're terraforming Earth to extinguish your capacity to see the light so that they would be safe. Carbon dioxide geo sequestration and carbon capture or removal, which possesses involving, which processes involve 
capturing what is considered waste carbon dioxide and de depositing it as storage sites, nitrogen removal and sequestration, carbon black or black carbon releases, deliberate atmospheric releases of soot to pro produce artificial weather events, soot. Atmospheric deployment of radio frequency microwave radiation. It's a frequency war. People was coming out of these towers around you, your cell phone tower. We're going to have to let all this stuff go. Other than that, needed for safe aviation and or deployment of other physical agents for stated or unstated purposes. Aircraft geoengineering activities include... Those carried out from any type of aerial vehicle, rocket, drone, or balloon that evolved the release or deployment of any nuclear radiation, any biologic or transbiologic agent, any chemical substance other than the artificials or aircraft's fuel emissions, which are harmful but necessary for flight, or any chemical mixture such as chaff, any electromagnetic radiation other than radar and radio communications necessary for the aircraft's safety, or any other physical agent, shall be subject to regulation included including the license processing or process pursuant to this chapter. So they saying they're going to check everything. State of Rhode Island said, man, we're going to check and make sure all your chemical substances are on these aircraft fuel emissions. So this, I think, is probably the first, might not be the last of these states with their state legislature. Le legislature, you know what I mean, whatever they call, you know, putting together, you know what I'm saying, all these bills to uh, go against, excuse me, man, I'm drinking this water, to go against uh, all this bullshit, all this poison, man. And it goes on and on, on and on, man. All right. Yeah, I drink some water, man. I get too excited. Then you got the definitions. So you can check it out. You can dig on it. I'm, I'm done, man. Enough reading for me. C contamination, air, water, soil. Particulates fall to Earth's surface. What does it mean? What does it mean to you? Man, they gave me the artificial hic hiccups, man. <laughs> Damn, they're giving artificial hiccups. Just when it gets good, just to stop you in your, tr in your tracks. You can't, you can't finish the sentence no more. But I'm going to speak through the wire. <laughs> Woo, I'm going to speak through the hiccups. <laughs> no, nah, man, man, we doing our, our dismount, man. We out of here, man. They gave King Drop the magic hit. <laughs> Oh, hiccups, man. All right, man. Cloud cover production. Cloud whitening. Seesaw. Soft flare rockets. Space sun shades. Solar shields. Reflective space mesh mirrors. Planetary sun shades. Artificial ionosphere. Oof. Large helium balloons. Rocket emissions. Ad additional geoengineering activity. Ocean fertilization. Sequestration. Sequestration. Alright, man. I led y'all to the water. Y'all uh, y'all take it from here, man. I'm gonna hold my breath. Cause it's getting too real. Take on the vibe sweet. Uh, and we're gonna uh We're gonna let Max Spears take it away, man. Much a hop to the tribe. Stay up. Suit up. Choose up. Let go. Hiccups. Magic um, opened up and began the United the United States intelligence agencies. Woo! So we have the NSA, the CIA, um, were then began uh, by these men. We have to remember that the Bush family, who um, who were essentially running the country from well, when Reagan was in office, um, Father George Bush was um, uh, telling him what to do. So basically from 1982 
all the way up until um, George W. Bush ended his uh, reign in 2008, you could say, because uh, the Bushes also ran Clinton, so they had this period of time, which was 26 years, um, uh, the Bushes, which is their real name is Bauer, Bauer, B-A-U-E-R, um, is uh, are, are a Nazi family. Okay, um, so uh, this, the, the, this, this is the gist of, the, of what Project Paperclip is, that, um, that the, uh, the, the Nazis didn't actually lose the Second World War, that they won, but that they, they continued uh, subversively to control under, underground. So now I would like to talk about the astral plane, which is uh, 4D. So we're living in, this is 3D, three-dimensional. Uh, world. The astral plane is, 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 is four di the four-dimensional world. It's the world that you go into with some people call dream time. Um, when you go to sleep at night, uh, you go to 4D. Most decisions and most of the uh, war begins there and starts there, and then it is almost superimposed after it happens there into 3D. So everything, all the major decisions and everything that, that happens really be, uh, happens in 4D. It's very close to 3D. It's very, 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 very close. It's right here. It's sharing the same space that we are in now. Um, so uh, when uh, they say, uh, when politicians or... Um, religious leaders say they need to get on a plane to go in to this country or that country to meet for a for a meet for a meeting to discuss world events they don't actually have to do that at all that is to reinforce the mind into the mind of the people that 3d is all there is there are certain hotels um, throughout uh, the planet for example the Hilton hotel chain um, you can go to uh, a Hilton hotel and uh, you can stay in a specific room. Numbers, obviously, numbers resonate energy. Colors resonate energy. So you go to, say, room 384. And uh, when you go in that room and you go to sleep at night in that room, and then, say, uh, somebody else is sleeping in a city uh, um, 100 miles away in room 184, then they go to sleep and then they are able to link energetically um, uh, into 4D and, 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 and have their meeting that way. Most spying, uh, most of the spying that goes on, um, because, because the subconscious is deeply and intrinsically connected to uh, 4D, most of the spying that goes on um, is not... I mean, it does go on. Um, people, there, are, there are spies out there who go out and, uh, you know, like in movies in that sense. But most of the spying goes on um, by uh, injecting themselves.